Why don't we first start by breaking in these new boots? Go ahead, have a look around. Beautiful country, isn't it? Take a look over there, I found some deer tracks. Let's follow the trail and see if we can't find our first buck. I sent some new coordinates to your map. Head to that waypoint and see if you can't spot that buck. He should be just up ahead. Step softly now. The less noise, the better. Try to move when the animal is moving. Hear that? That's our buck. Sounds like he's hidden in the brush up ahead. I sent some new coordinates to your map. Head to that waypoint and see if you can't spot that buck. He should be just up ahead. Large, solid obstacles such as rocks conceal your presence from the animals. When behind them, you can move faster and remain undetected. Being silent is just as important as being unseen. Steady your aim, but you can't hold your breath forever. Holding your breath will steady your aim, but you can't hold your breath forever. The placement of the shot is just... Steady your aim, but you can't hold your breath forever. The placement of the shot is just... Holding your breath will steady your aim. But you can't hold your breath forever. Blood tracks will give you an idea which way the animal went. Head that way and you should find some more blood drops. That's a good start. Now let's talk about some more advanced hunting skills. Go ahead and open up your GPS map. The map will let you know what animals can be expected where. 
that shows all sorts of important stuff like terrain. The animal activity zones are also the activity zones that are highlighted with a bright glow are the ones that are most likely to contain animals at the current time of day. A red glowing zone indicates a location where hunting pressure is high and that animals will be avoiding for a while. Deer feet, in addition, it marks the location of advantageous hunting locations such as preset blinds and stands. The map legend provides additional information to help you use the GPS map. Let's find a spot to observe a feeding plot. Close your map and head to the waypoint. Take out your binoculars and scan the area. There are usually some deer around this time of day. There's a blind just over there. But with the wind the way it is, there's no way to reach it without spooking the deer. Head along the tree line. Stay in cover until you're downwind of them. See that? He lost your smell and calmed right down. If a deer sees movement, it will stare. Freeze if you don't want it to spook. There's a stand just over there, but it'll be tricky reaching it without spooking the deer. Move slowly, keep low, and stay behind rocks. Use your optics to observe the animal's body language. Glassing allows you to estimate the animal's alert state and plan a successful approach. Move into the stand. Pay close attention to bushes, as moving fast through them can make a lot of noise and spook the animal. Also, make sure you keep out of the animal's sight. I think we're ready to take the shot. Blood tracks will give you an idea which way the animal went. Head that way and you should find some more blood drops.
found him. Now, claim your trophy. We play by the rules out here. You need to claim every trophy you shoot. We don't like to see wounded animals, so don't take a shot unless you're totally sure you can hit the target.